Jamie, you are just in time for something extremely delicious right now. Get ready for the plant-based curry recipe of your dreams. What would you say about a pumpkin and chickpea curry? Yes, Chef Clem is in the kitchen and is taking you through all the steps that you need from roasting your own spices to creating a what? Moorish end result. Chef Clem! I like we're in black today. We were because we came here with a mission. What's our mission? Our mission is to make sure that we serve nothing but the best plant-based curry. Yeah, because you know what's funny, right? People always say, like, um, vegan food, mm. plant-based food, is boring. Mm. And it's not. It's really great. <laughs> it kind of allows you to play around with spices and amp up dishes a lot more mm. because you're like playing with the flavors of like your pumpkin, your butternut, and your chickpeas, and your spinach. It's great when you get all your veggies in there. So I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Playing around with some spices, some that I want to see if you, if you can identify them. Do you want to play that game? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay, I'm say, not really great with spices and identifying spices. You can call a friend once. Okay. Okay. I'm your friend. Okay, cool. Onions are going, by the way, because you want to cook those down nice and golden brown mm -hmm. and soft before we do anything else, okay? Is that on high temperature or it's low It's on heat? a nice low heat. Okay. If it is too high, thank you for asking that. If it is too high, there's sugars in onions. When it's too high, you're going to caramelize those sugars to the point where they burn mm. and become bitter. And that bitter flavor will carry through the flavor of your curry, so we don't want that. No. Nice and low and slow. Okay, right. let's play this game. All right. I'm seeing so. Oh. Oh. You know what? Oh, that's pepper, black pepper. Huh. All right. 1,000 rand. Thank you very much. That is time. No, no, no. One more try. Cumin. Oh. Okay, 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 cumin. Cumin, because there's a lot. I don't know what that is. Mustard seed. It's, it looks like really, okay. That looks like that, but bigger version of yeah. mustard seeds. Coriander. Coriander. Okay. Huh. Chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. If what you is that? If you get this, I, like, to camera, if you get this, I will give you 1,000 rand. Cash. I will give you a thousand. You're gonna at me? It, no, cash money. Uh, Ballin, okay. L let me, I need a closer look. Can I smell it? I feel you like can, I. You can do whatever. It has a very weird. Um, th the smell also has an aftertaste. Five. It's like, ah! Four. <laughs> Three. This is a thousand rand we're playing with right now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just lost a thousand rand. It's what mace. is this? It's mace. What I don't blame is maize? you. I don't blame you. <laughs> maize is so amazing. It's a spice we don't use anymore. Like you hardly see people using maize at all. Mm. But it's on shelf at Woolies. It adds the most fragrant floral flavor to your curries. Really? It is so beautiful. Maize is the outer layer of nutmeg. So you get nutmeg, the little round mm -hmm. guy. Maize grows outside the nutmeg. Which, and if you think about nutmeg, a little bit of nutmeg adds mm. so much flavor. Mace does that as well. But oh, it's wow. so much more floral. I'm sorry. I'm, you I, know I mean, what? I mean, it's fine. I'm here to learn in any case when I chef Kim, and that's exactly why you that's are exactly here. That's exactly. I love though the variety of the different spices on the table, the different colors, uh -huh. the different textures, because I can only imagine what the final product is going to look like. It's going to look so amazing. And what I love about the fact is, you're not going to, if you, if you eat this meal, you're not going to be like, oh my goodness, I can completely tell that this is meat free. Mm -hmm. It's so flavorful. It's so delicious. You're not lacking anything when you have this dish. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the spices into this whole pan of a meat meat. Spices have oils in them. And by doing this, you're kind of waking up the spices. Those oils heat up, become so fragrant. Because you've got that mustard seed that's in there, yeah. it's going to start popping. I might even pop out the pan, but that's fun. Food that fights back is the best kind of food. You can what? see that? You can see that? I'm cool. not trying to eat food that's fighting me uh, back. Why not? <laughs> okay, cool. What I'm going to need you to do for me is these hot spices are in okay. here now. Can you please grind it, grind it up for me? Not a problem. There you go. So what I want to do next how, is this. How do I do? <laughs> okay. So what you do is you, you, you're starting off quite well. You okay. want to kind of like break it down slowly. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you've broken it down a little bit, you start grinding. Oh, I see. And you can put some movement in it when you go, ah, uh, uh. ah. Hey. Okay, hey, I like hey, it, I like hey. it. So, okay, I've added some garlic and some ginger to my onions, right? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna start like, you, you wanna, when we, in a recipe when we say cook until fragrant, I don't like saying cook for one minute to two minutes yeah. because then you're literally gonna be like, one minute done and walk mm. away. No, it's all about using your senses. So you can smell that garlic, you can smell that ginger. That way you know it's cooking through mm -hmm. and you're ready for the next step. And I'm gonna ask you for, the, oh, you keep on going with the spices. The next step will be our spices that's gonna be added to it. Okay. But what we're doing is we're adding some pumpkin or butternut to this curry. But before we do that, I actually wanna add extra flavor. We're gonna do that by roasting it. We're roasting our uh, butternut? Yeah. I mean, you, our pumpkin. So. The original recipe, and you'll see it says um, use pumpkin, but I like the fact that you can kind of mix it up and mm -hmm. use butternut. 
as well as you can use whatever veggies you have going on in your house. This is a great way, if you have any veggies on your counter or on your fridge that you're trying to use, this is how you do it. Yeah. Okay, so salt, pepper, little paprika, and I love the paprika in there because the sweetness of the paprika goes so well with the sweetness of the butternut, the pumpkin, the coriander seeds, the cumin seeds, and the, bay the curry leaves. This I feel like Chef Clem is just winging it right now. Don't tell everyone my secret. <laughs> okay, cool. No, I'm kidding. This goes on a tray, mm -hmm. and it goes into the oven, and it comes out beautiful and delicious like this. And again, because you roasted it, you added so much extra flavor to it. Yeah. Okay, can I have your curry I've spice? some love and I affection into it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And can I just say that Talk the smell or the fragrance coming from the spices alone mm -hmm. are just delicious. It, uh, thank you, I love that. Mm. And then you want to play around with spices. People are very scared because they think when they use spices, it ends up being spicy mm. and hot. There's a difference between spiced and spicy. Yeah. This is spiced, okay? Spice. And also make a recipe your own. If, if you feel like a recipe is too hot, this one uses like the, that whole dry chili, mm -hmm. use less. Do, okay. it, do what you know is going to be good for you. Okay, so the pumpkin's gone in there. This is, this is one that we actually put into a food process and blitz, that same curry spice. Mm -hmm. This is the, the powder version of it, but we've used your version because it's much better. Okay, so to that, we're going to add our pumpkin, we're going to add our chickpeas, and we're keeping it plant-based, we're keeping it vegan, right? Mm -hmm. So to do that, we're actually using coconut yogurt instead of cream or normal mm -hmm. yogurt, and this is going to still add that beautiful tropical flavor to it. It's going to make it creamy. Careful. Did I get my salt? Yes, you did. Apron. apron. <laughs> the one day that I'm actually wearing an apron. Thank you. So, okay, so that goes in there. That's going to make it beautiful and creamy. And then, in the last 10 minutes of this curry, mm -hmm. I add spinach. You can the use kale. The final 10 minutes of your curry. You don't want to cook it down too, too mm. much that it kind of like disappears. I want a little bit of crunch in there. So you can use kale, yeah. any hearty, like, green leaf. That goes in there. That's going to cook down. Don't forget your salt. You need to season. Every time you make a curry, yeah. uh, it needs a generous amount of seasoning. So salt goes in there. That's going to bring out the flavors of all the spices you got in there and your veggies in there. Finish with a little sprinkling of coriander when it comes out. Serve it over some beautiful um, seed rice. Papa Doms. Mm. It looks delicious. Jeff Clem, thank you so much. If you would like to get your hands on this awesome recipe, make sure to head on over to our website, expressoshow.com. I'll still give you a thousand rand. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs>